Hey everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Welcome if you are new. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button and let's get right into today's video. So for today's video, I am going to be showcasing the brand newly released colors from Double Dip Nails for the month of August. These are their brand new monthly colors. And before we get any further, I do want to say thank you to Double Dip Nails for sponsoring today's video. So this month's color collection does include 14 different colors and these colors are actually selling out super fast because they are super beautiful and something that is very new to the Double Dip Nails website. These colors are all glitter shades and I also do have a special promo for you guys. It is buy three, get two free if you use the code BRANDY3. I will have that linked in the description box if you want to check that out. This promo does last until the end of August, so if you do want to pick up some of these colors, make sure you go ahead and check the description box. They are selling out super fast, and I definitely recommend checking them out. I will be swatching them as both acrylic and dip powder today. In case you are a dip powder fan or you are an acrylic fan, you can see the swatches of them being used in both ways. I think being used as dip powder and acrylic, they are very beautiful in both ways. But I just want you guys to remember that if you don't love dip powder, these are two-in-one powders and they can also be used as acrylic powder as well. So right now, I'm just going ahead and showing the name of the color and then also just opening it up and showing it out of the container, but I will be swatching them later on into the video. You can see how beautiful they are from the container, but just wait until you see the acrylic swatches. I feel when you swatch these powders as acrylic, it really shows how beautiful they are. You can see all the different glitter pieces and honestly I love this collection so much because they did add glitter um, butterfly sequins in some of these dip powders and I think that is so cute and perfect for ending off summer. So I definitely recommend picking up some colors in this collection if not all of them. So again, make sure you remember I do have a promo that will end that will end in the end of August, and that is buy three, get two free with the code Brandy3. So here is just a close-up of the colors out of the pots. Super beautiful colors, a good variety of colors as well, and a lot of these do have a good mix of glitter, both fine and chunky, and then also we have in some of them some butterfly-shaped sequins as well, which I think is the cutest little touch, and I can't wait to show you guys the swatches for these. So I did decide that I would swatch them as dip powder off camera since I am usually swatching as dip powder on camera. So here are the dip powder swatches with only one coat of dip powder. So these only have one like dip and then the activator applied on top. Here are the four, first four colors. I went ahead and showed the top and underside. Here are the second four colors. Super beautiful. I really loved the blue and the purple one on the end there. And definitely from the underside, you can see those beautiful butterfly sequins. Here we have the next four colors. I'm really loving the pink and the turquoise color. Very beautiful. And these ones also all have butterfly sequins as well. Just how cute. I love it so much. And I also love that the butterfly sequins pick up if you use them as dip powder as well. So that is great. And then we have the last two colors here. Super super beautiful we have both the chunky the fine glitter and that one does have butterfly sequins in it now i'm going to be going ahead and swatching them as acrylic using the double dip liquid monomer i'm just going to go ahead and swatch these on a paper towel just because i feel swatching glitter acrylics on a paper towel it just helps to be able to see all of those glitter pieces and it is just truly beautiful 
I did have a hard time focusing in on these colors just because of how many glitter pieces were in here, but I will do a close-up of the paper towel in the end so you can see all of the beautiful glitters. I am going to go ahead and let this part play out, but I will come back once I have swatched all of them. I hope that you guys do enjoy this little swatching proportion of the video. So here are all 14 of the colors swatched as acrylic and just look at all of the glitter, the butterflies. These are so beautiful and I definitely cannot wait to use these as acrylic powder. In today's video, I will be using them as dip powder, but definitely I will be coming back to these and trying them out as acrylic as well. Let me know in the comment section if that is something you would like me to do and if you would like to see the outcome of that nail set. I did do a close-up of these just because I cannot get over how stunning each of these colors are. All of the glitter in these mixes are absolutely beautiful. If you are interested in any of these colors, don't forget, don't forget to check the description box. I will be linking all 14 shades and also that buy three get two free discount code. Alrighty, so now let's go ahead and jump into the nail set. I did go ahead and apply my peel off base coat. I then applied my full cover nail tips using the Bella Vina 4-in-1 base coat. I did my prep to these nail tips, some filing and buffing, and then I picked out the colors that I'm going to be using today, 565, 561, and I'm using a purple. I forget which one it is. I think it's AG05, but that is the shade that I'm going to be using from the August collection. Because I am doing 3XL nails, I'm also going to be using this double dip dipping tray just to make it a lot easier to be able to dip the nails because these are entirely way too long to fit into the containers. I am going to be using the Essential Dip Liquids Dip Base today and starting off with that I'm going to be applying a thin nice layer of this to the index fingernail and that is going to be one of the glitter nails for this nail set. So as you can see, I'm just applying the dip base to the entire nail. You do want to make sure that you cover the full nail with the dip base. Because I am using full cover nail tips, I don't have to worry about building up a structure. I just have to at least apply two to three full coats of dip powder to get the strength for the nail. But overall, that full cover nail tip already gives you a good structure. So then I went ahead and just gently dipped that into the double dip dipping container 
and that covered the entire nail. With these butterfly sequins, it is a little bit harder to use these with the dip powder method of applying these powders, but of course it is possible and I was able to just move a few around to where I wanted them by putting a little dot of that dip base and then sticking in that butterfly and it worked perfectly. Overall, I didn't really have much troubles with the butterfly sequins. They were able to pick up and it was honestly super easy to just move them around or add more if I wanted to. For the pinky nail, I am going to be repeating that same exact thing, covering that entire nail with the dip base and then dipping into the dip powder. And just look at this, like I was in love with this color. I feel like I haven't done a purple nail set in a while, so I just, I just had to go for it. I had to use this color here, and this color here is actually called Lily Pad from the August collection, and you can also see me just moving around some of the butterflies. It is very easy to do that, so that is really nice to be able to get a full coverage glitter nail. Now I'm moving on to, I believe this color is 565. I apologize, it's moving a bit too fast for me to be able to read, but if you are interested and like the color, check the description box, it will be linked down there. I'm just going to be repeating that same exact steps using the dip base to apply that to the full cover nail tip and then dipping it right into the colored dip powder. You did see me only apply one coat of the glitter dip powder. The reason for that is because I wanted to keep it a nice thin layer. I didn't really want to bulk it up too much, but if you do want to build the glitter and make the glitter nails a lot like more full of glitter, you definitely can build that up and do two coats of the glitter powder. But for my personal preference and for this nail set, I did decide to only do one coat of the glitter. And then for the nude and the purple, I do two coats of that. So I do want to mention again why I am using full cover nail tips. I find it a lot easier to use full cover nail tips when building up dip powder nails. Because these are a little bit longer, I did go in with the 000 clear base powder on all of the nails just to give them a little bit more strength. But when you are using full cover nail tips, it makes things a lot easier to build up the strength of that nail and you don't really have to worry about doing too many layers of dip powder to be able to build that apex which is really nice. If you guys do want to see me using half cover nail tips building an apex for dip powder nails, please let me know in the comment section if that is something you want to see. I will definitely do that type of video. But for me, I like using full cover nail tips. You still get the look that you're going for and honestly, it does save a good bit of dip powder because you aren't needing to use as many coats of that dip powder to build a good structure for the nail since that full cover nail tip does already give you a good enough structure. I hope everything that I just said makes sense, but if you are having troubles with building a structure or an apex when you are using dip powder, just remember, try using full cover nail tips instead. Do two coats of your color dip powder and then do a coat of the 000 clear base and that should really help you give the nail a lot of strength. So as I was talking about that, I did go in with 561, the nude dip powder. I do apologize if I'm reading the numbers incorrectly. I'm kind of just going off my memory a little bit. But again, check the description box. They will be down there. But I'm just going in with this color now on my middle finger and my thumb. And again, just applying two coats of this, applying the dip base, dipping the nail, and then I will also be letting that dry, brushing away the dust, and then applying the dip base and dipping in the nail. One thing that I did not mention is in between each coat, I am letting the dip base dry a little bit. 
and once that has dried I am going in with a fluffy dust brush to remove any remaining dip powder that may be on the nail that is a very important step because if you don't brush away at that remaining dust it can ruin your dip liquids and that is not going to be good because obviously we do need to keep our essential dip liquids intact so we can continue to use them for other manicures so now going in with 000 which is the clear base I'm going to be encapsulating both of the glittered nails and then I'm also going to be applying a layer of this to the nude and purple nails because these nails are super long and I do want to make sure they have some sort of strength to them even though this will be a pop-off nail set I did just want to go ahead and seal in the color so for this very quick and easy applying that dip base I'm then just taking this clear dip powder and pouring it over all of the nails very simple very easy and i'm just going to be repeating this to all of the other nails and i'm going to go ahead and let the rest of this play out so if you are enjoying please give this video a thumbs up it really helps me out a lot also if you haven't subscribed yet please subscribe because i am on the road to 5,000 subscribers and if you're feeling generous please leave a comment below i love reading you guys's comments and i always try to reply or give a heart just to know just so you guys can know that i am reading them and enjoying the comments that you guys are leaving So after the clear base has been applied and I let that dry for a couple minutes, I did make sure I took my fluffy dust brush and brushed away all of that remaining dust. And then I'm going in with a very generous layer of the activator and I'm going to be applying this to all of the nails. You do want to make sure that you go in with a generous coat of this because it is going to harden your nails which will allow you to file them without having it be a very gummy texture. It will harden up the nails, allow you to file them, so make sure you are going in with a pretty generous coat of that. I then went ahead and let that dry for about two to five minutes, and now I'm going in with some filing. Before I talk about what I'm doing with my filing, I do just want to let you guys know that if you hear a dog snoring, both of my dogs are in the room with me, laying right beside me, sound asleep and snoring, so I do apologize for that, but I feel bad waking them up and kicking them out, so I just want to mention if you hear any snoring, it is coming from my dogs. But now back to the filing, I am going in with a 100 180 grit hand file and I am just going over top of the nails to smooth out the nails and remove any ridges or bumps or lumps on the nail. And then I'm also going around and quickly shaping up the nail a little bit to make sure it is that nice crisp and perfect square shape. For my filing, very basic, very easy, especially when you keep a very nice and clean application. There really isn't much filing to do at all with these dip powder nails. That is one reason why I do really love dip powder. It's easy to file and honestly, you don't need to do much filing if you keep a very nice, clean application. So I didn't leave in much filing, but I did go ahead and also buff the nails off camera, brushed away the dust, and now I'm going in with my second coat of activator. This second coat here is very important because it is going to go in all of the little cracks and crevices that you just opened up while filing, and it will make sure that the nails are all hardened up. You could see that I already did my thumb. I just did that off camera just to kind of get some inspiration for what I wanted to do for the rest of the nail set. So for both nude nails, they are going to be the same. I'm using some purple butterfly stickers and just placing them down the center of the nail. And then I will also be going in with some purple rhinestones and just placing those along the nail as well. This is a very cute and simple design, but because 
the theme is purple and butterflies i just thought why not let's add some purple butterfly stickers some purple rhinestones and that will make these nude nails very complete <music> So after I had the four butterfly stickers placed where I wanted them, I did make sure they were completely pressed down into the nail. Now I'm going to be taking my Bella Vina top coat. This is my absolute favorite top coat. I love the consistency of it. It's very self-leveling and I love that it isn't too thick or isn't too thin. It's the perfect consistency, but it really leaves a nice, thick, glossy finish on the nails, and I really love that about this top coat. Before curing the top coat, I am going to be taking these small purple flat back rhinestones, placing them into the uncured top coat, and then I will be curing for 30 seconds in the nail lamp. After curing that nail, I did decide on the purple nail. I wanted to do an outlined French tip using a reflective purple gel liner. So I'm just taking this shade here and going around. And I start off by doing my smile line. And then I kind of just outline the nail on the sides and the free edge to create that outlined French tip look. I honestly was debating if I should just fill it in or not, but I did just keep the outline French tip as my original plan was. But looking back at the nail set, I kind of wish I would have just filled it in just because I feel like I'm used to filled in French tips, like a regular French tip. So I feel like that's kind of why it looked a little bit off to me or a little bit different. But overall, I still liked it and thought it really fit the purple theme of the nail set. So I did just go ahead and draw this on do the outline on the sides of the nail and the free edge then once i like that i did go ahead and cure for 30 seconds in my nail lamp After the French tip was cured, I'm now going in with that same Bella Vina top coat again and I'm going to be applying this to the nail. At the time of me doing this nail set, I really wasn't sure what else to do with this finger, but now looking back at it now, it would have looked really cute for a purple butterfly sticker to go in the center of like the outlined French tip. I just think that would look so cute and I wish I would have done that. But instead, my moment of thinking while doing this nail set, I did just go in with some rhinestones near the cuticle. I just placed one and then placed another one and I thought that looked good. So I did go ahead and cure that for 30 seconds in the nail lamp. After that was cured, I'm now just going to be finishing off the rest of the nails with some top coat. This glitter was so beautiful and honestly, I was really glad that I didn't build it up too much because I really liked the transparent jelly look with this glitter. I just thought it looked very minimalistic but still giving off the butterfly and all of the glitter like just so beautiful. So I did go ahead, take that top coat, apply that to both of the glittered nails, and then I cured for 30 seconds in the nail lamp.
After curing the top coat, the nail set is complete, but first we do need to add the double dip cuticle oil, which is step six. I'm going to be applying this to my cuticles, rubbing that in to nourish my cuticles. And of course, like I always say, top off the nail set. I absolutely love this cuticle oil. If you haven't tried it yet, please make sure you do so. It is very nourishing for your cuticles. It doesn't leave you feeling oily and it just makes the nail set look so good in the end like your skin is so nourished and just really brings out the nails so here is the finished look i really hope that you guys did enjoy watching me create this nail set let me know if you do want me to come back to these colors and use them as acrylic powder I definitely would love to do that. Don't forget that I do have a special promo with Double Dip Nails that will last until the end of August where you can buy three and get two free. Make sure you check the description box for any products that I did use in today's video. But as always, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you all next time.